In April 2026, a newly discovered comet called C2025R3, also known as Pan-STARRS, will pass through the inner solar system. Early observations suggest it could become one of the brighter comets of the year, though scientists remain cautious due to how unpredictable comet behavior can be. Its trajectory and timing have made it a target of close monitoring, especially after several notable comets appeared in recent years. In this video, we will examine what astronomers know so far, why its brightness is uncertain, and what observers can realistically expect as it approaches. Let's get started. Comet C2025R3 was discovered in September 2025 during routine observations by the PanSTAR survey system in Hawaii. Like many modern comet discoveries, it was not visually prominent at the time. Instead, it was identified through automated analysis that flagged a faint object moving slowly against background stars. Subsequent observations confirmed that the object was a comet traveling on a long, highly elongated orbit. This classification immediately placed the comet in a scientifically interesting category. Long-period comets are believed to originate from the distant outer regions of the solar system, likely the Oort cloud. These objects can spend tens of thousands of years far from the Sun before gravitational disturbances send them inward. For many, a close pass through the inner solar system is a rare event, and in some cases, a one-time encounter. Orbital calculations show that comet C2025R3 will reach perihelion, its closest point to the Sun, on April 20th, 2026. At that time, it will pass between the orbits of Mercury and Venus, exposing it to intense solar heating. Just days later, on April 27th, it will also make a relatively close approach to Earth, at a distance of about 70 million kilometers. This sequence matters because comet brightness depends on both solar heating and viewing geometry. Close proximity to the Sun drives activity as ices sublimate and release gas and dust, while proximity to Earth improves visibility. When these two factors occur close together in time, a comet has a greater chance of becoming noticeable. However, geometry alone does not determine the outcome. Many comets with favorable orbits fail to become bright, either because they are poor in volatile material or because their nuclei respond weakly to heating. At this stage, Comet ER3's trajectory establishes potential, not certainty. From an observational perspective, Skei-Sai position will also play a critical role. During late April, observers in the Northern Hemisphere are expected to see the comet low in the pre-dawn sky. In contrast, observers in the Southern Hemisphere may find it better placed after sunset in early May. The comet will move through Pisces, near the familiar Great Square of Pegasus, making it reasonably straightforward to locate for experienced observers. Overall, the discovery phase sets a careful tone. Comet C2025R3 is well positioned to be interesting, but its ultimate appearance depends on how it behaves as it responds to solar heating. The central uncertainty surrounding comet C2025R3 is how bright it will become as it approaches the Sun. Current estimates span a wide range, from a faint object visible only with binoculars to a comet that could be seen with the naked eye under dark skies. This level of uncertainty is typical and reflects the fundamental challenge of predicting comet behavior. Unlike asteroids, comets are not solid, stable bodies. They are loosely bound mixtures of ice, dust, and volatile compounds. As sunlight warms a comet's nucleus, frozen materials sublimate, releasing gas that drags dust into space and forms the coma and tail. The efficiency of this process varies dramatically from one comet to another and is difficult to predict before sustained activity begins. Brightness predictions for comet R3 currently range from around magnitude 8 to as bright as magnitude 2.5. A magnitude 8 comet would be easily visible through binoculars or a small telescope, but invisible to the unaided eye. 
a magnitude 2.5 comet, on the other hand, would rival some of the brighter stars in the night sky, at least briefly. One factor that could enhance the comet's apparent brightness is forward scattering. As the comet moves into a position between Earth and the Sun, sunlight can scatter off dust particles in its tail and be directed toward Earth. This effect can temporarily boost brightness beyond what distance alone would suggest. Forward scattering has contributed to unexpected brightening in several past comets. However, it depends strongly on dust production. A comet rich in gas but poor in dust may show strong emissions in instruments while remaining visually unimpressive. At present, astronomers do not yet know whether Comet R3 will produce enough dust to benefit significantly from this effect. Beyond visual brightness, the comet is scientifically valuable because of its origin. Long-period comets are thought to preserve relatively pristine material from the early solar system. As Comet R3 becomes active, spectroscopic observations can reveal the composition of the gases and dust it releases, allowing scientists to compare it with other long-period comets observed in recent years. This is particularly relevant given the unusually active period for comets over the past few years. A growing dataset of well-observed comets allows researchers to refine models of how these objects form, evolve, and survive close encounters with the Sun. In this context, Comet C2025R3 contributes valuable information regardless of whether it becomes visually dramatic. As we enter 2026, predictions about Comet R3 will gradually shift from theoretical models to direct measurements. Astronomers will track changes in brightness, coma size, tail structure, and gas production rates. These observations, particularly in the months leading up to perihelion, will provide clearer insight into how the comet is responding to solar heating. For observers, it is important to keep expectations realistic. Even if the comet reaches naked eye brightness, visibility will depend heavily on observing conditions. Light pollution, atmospheric haze, and the comet's altitude above the horizon can all reduce how impressive it appears. Many comets that technically qualify as naked eye objects are still subtle and require careful viewing. That said, the timing offers some favorable conditions. The moon will be near new phase just days before perihelion, minimizing moonlight interference during a key observation window. Combined with the comet's movement through recognizable star fields, this increases the chances that observers will be able to follow its evolution over multiple mornings or evenings. If Comet R3 proves to be dust-rich and remains structurally intact, it could become one of the more notable comet apparitions of the year. If it behaves more modestly, it will still be an accessible target for binocular and telescope users. From a scientific standpoint, the comet will likely be monitored by a global network of professional and amateur astronomers. This collaboration is central to modern comet research. Amateur observers often provide frequent, long-term monitoring, while larger observatories contribute detailed spectroscopic and imaging data. Unexpected behavior remains a possibility. Some comets fragment, fade rapidly, or brighten suddenly as internal stresses increase. While such events can reduce visual appeal, they are often scientifically valuable, revealing how fragile comet nuclei can be and why many comets do not survive repeated passages near the Sun. Comet C 2025EIR3 arrives during a period of heightened public interest in comets, following several notable appearances in recent years. Whether or not it becomes a standout visual event, it will extend this period of active observation and help refine expectations for future long-period comets. Comet C 2025R3 PanStars has a promising trajectory, but its final brightness remains uncertain. As it approaches perihelion in April 2026, observations will determine whether it becomes visually impressive or remains modest. Either way, it will add valuable data to our understanding of long-period comets. <laughs>